<gasps> Who is this? take us about two hours to get there but we're hoping to actually be down for about two o'clock two o'clock and um, for 11 o'clock in the morning but it's probably looking now about 12 half 12 that we'll get down there for the camera will not stay i've tried to prop it up so it keeps moving guys so we'll i'll see what i can do but i really need to get one of those things that stick onto the side of the car so that I can record our little vlogs when we're doing little road trips like this. So yeah. We may be going by that but baby. having our lunch at the Edinburgh street food. Got myself a cheeky little pint. Uh, peach Melba sour. sour. It's peach, so, Melba sour. peach Melba sour. Who's it by? Can't remember but it's so tasty. So 
this is the Peruvian pork, pork belly. belly. Pork belly and sweet potato. Dip. I don't know what it is though. Guacamole? Excuse me. I don't know what it is, I don't think it's fine. This makes it up. Either way, it's good. Meat? Good. Potatoes good. What are you gonna give What are you gonna give out a ten? I'm gonna go seven off. No, it's my turn. Pork belly is just done like perfectly. Sweet potato fried. Honestly, on par with the pork belly. And the red onions and there's coriander. I think that is a guacamole dip. It's got a bit of heat to it, a bit of chili. And oh my god, it's so good. Okay, so the green dip is a. Uh, Jalapenos, coriander, and mayonnaise dip. And honest to God, if I can make this at home, I'm making it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got spicy potatoes here. Spicy. With what meal? No. What meal? I don't know. Chipolate. 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 Chipotle meat meal. Is it good? I mean, they're just. Spicy potatoes. That's what it says in the tin, essentially. Mm hmm. Okay. What would you give out of 10? I don't know, they don't deserve a rating. They're just, they're just ties. Just ties. They're just ties. Ooh, how about with that sauce, though? That's also a winner. It right. is a winner. It's a winner all around. But yeah, they're good. But yeah, I don't think they deserve it. Just, they're just ties. Spicy ties. Spicy ties. Spicy ties. So we've got a bit of radish and another red onion. We've got our wheat tatties. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm now not allowed to hold anything up because I'm at risk of spilling, as you can see. But well, they're really warm, like hot. They're just fresh out of the oven or whatever they, they've used. I'm not getting much mayonnaise. I think they could have done with a wee bit more mayonnaise, but you know me, my mayonnaise, so. The spice is good, nice and subtle. I don't know what to do. What are you having? Um, what was it again? Korean chicken? Fried no. Chicken, Korean bao bun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's give it a sauce, let's go. <clears throat> Tastes like a sergeant like kebab. <laughs> A Saturday night kebab. I don't the know if that's really like... The bar is really good, trying to... The bar is yeah. really crispy. Like yeah. That. And the sauce is spicy. A little bit of kick to it. Yeah. Bonus is Saturday night kebab. Saturday night kebab. Saturday night kebab. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Uh -huh. 
the bun's a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm. Is it because it's like doughy? Yeah, I don't know if I'm. Just feels a bit. It's a bit loose. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, it tastes good. So we're on the crispy Korean bun, bun yeah. thing. Oh my God. This is gonna go all over me. That's what she said. <laughs> well, you weren't wrong there. Mm -hmm. What's your early verdict? Soft skull. Well, Maybe want to get a napkin or two, you know? And again. And again. Oh, I'll wait. Um, yeah, super, super crispy. I'm not actually getting any of the chicken yet. So I feel like the crisp batter has taken over the chicken. And obviously the whole sauce all over my face. But yeah, it's like packed with a wee bit of a slaw. Carrot, red cabbage. There is some sort of mayonnaise dip. I think there was red onions or green onions, like spring onion kind of thing, but I haven't got it. Oh, we've got mayo at this side. So yeah, I'm gonna go in for another big bite. What are you thinking of the bun? Like my hands are imprinting, but I think bow buns are meant to be like that. My old Japanese kind of, or is it Korean? Maybe it is Korean because it is, I don't know, but Southeast Asia vibe completely here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, thank you. Verdict. I'm gonna say my fave out of that would have been the pork belly dish. That sauce, oh my goodness, it just made that dish. So yeah, pork belly was £10.50 and it was a reasonable portion so I'll give it that. Then Scott Shikley added on um, spicy potatoes, um, so that was, where was the spicy potatoes from? right down at the front I'll have to like pin it in when I know what it is and then we ordered the bao bun which was next that was that crispy Korean kind of vibe oh my god it was so so nice but I don't know it was a bit too overpowering for me just with all the with everything being there and I was like cramming it into my mouth so I'm gonna say the pork belly was my favorite probably a nine out of ten for that followed by the potatoes because in Scotland who does not love a tatty so I'm gonna give that a seven and a half and then the bow bun probably for flavor probably an eight but like for overall probably down to a seven but everything worked in so nice with each other and we've got our wee peach melba summer beer which is going down like a little treat so yeah it wasn't too bad I think in total we're maybe about 30 less than 35 pounds I know that and that was with Scott ordering an extra. So I think I paid 26 something and then Scott went and ordered the fries, so the potatoes, and they were like an extra five or six pounds. So yeah, I mean, for a little stop in lunch, it, reasonable. I wouldn't be able to do this every week, like maybe some people, but um, yeah, definitely worthwhile if you're down in Edinburgh to try out this place. It was honestly a dear buy. Want me to give a review? This place. Oh. Overall, I think it's a good place to come and get grub. Mm -hmm. uh, prices of pints are a bit steep, mm. but overall, yeah, for what we had was pretty tasty, and I could see why you'd want to come Time. back. What about timing? Timing, yeah, it was pretty good. Apart from? Apart from your cock up, where you had ordered, and then <laughs> you obviously lost phone signal. So the order didn't go through? No. Sat here waiting like a bunch of chumps. For 45 minutes? No, only 45 minutes. Half an hour then. No, just try a half an hour. Right, yeah. That's good. The big smiley poop. <laughs> so we're um, now just leaving to go over to the shopping centre <laughs> with the big swirly emoji poop, um, which is just actually across from where we are just now. Um, but yeah, there was like pasta, pizza, there was chicken. 
there was cookies, there was all like a varied option of street vendors in there, so definitely worth your while if you're going. Um, definitely would recommend. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to do a wee bit of shopping and then see if we're, I think I really want to go and get like a drink and a sit down as well, so I think we'll just venture around and do all that while well, we're doing a wee bit of shopping, so yeah. Breath. Obviously, we do a wee bit of a show. Okay. Yeah. I find the drink tastes a bit better when invigorated with the spirit of the dragon eye. Of so if you just want to reach in, take a pinch of the phoenix ashes, a dragon's favourite food. Yeah. Right. Just drop and throw it in there. There we go. <laughs> right. Now, if you blow that out like a candle, the glass will be hot. But there's a straw there for you. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> so guys we're now at Malmaison we've had like a pretty busy day we went around the shopping centre kind of just went into a couple of the shops because we're going to decide to go back there tomorrow and then we ended up going for two drinks at two different bars but we're now at the hotel and we've just been upgraded to a suite and honestly it's so so nice I was really cheeky and I was like oh it's his birthday da -da -da. <laughs> And she's like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, like, and we've stayed here before, you know, given all the chat. But honest to God, like, so nice of her. She was lovely, lovely receptionist and, yeah, thankful to her. So look at this. Big, big bed. Finally, Scott can sleep on his own side and I can sleep on my own side. And then we've just cracked open the mini bar because, you know, we were like, let's just do it. Huge windows. And then we've got our little bathroom here. And I'm loving the sinks, his and hers. But yeah, honestly, what a great stay this is going to be. So excited. I wish it was longer, but just the one night, which is all we need to get back to Luna. But yeah, are you happy? I'm very happy. Cool, let's go and enjoy our drinks. You just need a five pound of beer from the <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Mm. Expensive. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks. Morning. It is now the second of March. Hi. Hi. So yeah, we are just uh, at the Ocean Turnwell down in least because that is where we were staying. There is nothing in here and it's such a shame. There's like one or two stores, but nothing I can even shop in. And uh, yeah, um, like you see, we can't even get out because that's how run down the building is. Um, played up a wee at Starbucks, my usual. And we're now just heading back to the car. We have got breakfast booked for quarter past 11 at Deschutes. Um, their breakfast wraps apparently are meant to be delicious, so can't wait to try that. Then Scott booked us tickets to the Chocolatorium, which we get to make our own chocolates. I'm super excited for this. Um, so yeah, we will kind of do a little vlogging again when we get back up to the shoe. Um, and let you guys know what that is all about. But um, yeah, I'm just going to shut down now because it is quite good to get able to hear me or see me. Tell us what it's got in it. Um, sausage, egg, 
with some chili jam, cheese. Okay, sorry. I'm convinced. It's one of like the oddest things you could ever think of. Putting bacon in a naan bread, but it works honestly so well. There is cream cheese, some coriander, and then this lovely chili jam. Honest to God, it's just so so tasty. And yeah, 100% get your ass down to Dishoom if you're in Edinburgh because this is something to definitely try. So I've got a wee chai latte and honest to God, it's like one of the best chai lattes I have ever, ever had. So if you're ever in Edinburgh, go into Dishoom, just even get a latte because honestly this is divine. It's just, I can't even, it's so creamy. It's just so much full of flavour. It's really nice. Let's go, Jabby! <laughs> and I'm gonna get her all spoken. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. I've still got one left to film. Tap at the side. I mean, I mean, stop it. That one's a Slightly over going. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's not really good, but if you did like the taste and the flavor of it, we do have it in a chocolate bar form. It's much, much better. I think it's just the consistency that is a bit off putting, but what are the. We have now just arrived at Ikea. I don't know if you can actually see the sign. I was hoping we could get it up. But yeah, we have arrived at Kia. Uh, we have arrived at Ikea and we're now just about to have a quick look. Um, and then we'll just go up the road after that. We went into this place called Wingstop and honest to God, the food, it's just like KFC, but 10 times better. So if you're ever down in Edinburgh, like I said, uh, definitely stop and past and get some of their chicken wings because they are delicious. <laughs> Edinburgh was definitely a hit and um, I didn't really finish off the vlog um, completely after we um, were in Ikea I um, got a bit of a phone call from my mum to tell me that my grandma wasn't well and that she was going into hospital so we quickly went round Ikea and kind of got a few bits and pieces and then just headed straight back up the road she's actually um, all okay I believe I just need to catch up with mum today and see how she is but yeah, um, there's never a drama within my family, I can tell you that. So yes, it is Friday the 3rd of March. Um, Scott today is um, going out with his chums for some drinks. And then tomorrow we have pretty much most of his friends coming around for a little surprise 30 plus 2 birthday party. I am not feeling that 100%. I don't know if I've picked up a little bit of a bug whilst being in Edinburgh. Um, I just feel a bit screamish, so um, I'm just going to see how I can get on today with picking up bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, Edinburgh was great. Absolutely loved it. That Edinburgh street food market was a 10 out of 10 for just the atmosphere and the drinks and the food. Um, 
100% would go back and would recommend you guys to go as well. We then did the Chocolatorium, which again was absolutely great fun. Um, I think it was about 18 to 20 pounds for each of us and we got some chocolate that we made at the end to take away. So if you're in Edinburgh at all, you have to go there and do that. It was actually just a fun little thing to do and you could do it with like family and friends. Um, so yeah, and you got to do all like the tasting of dark chocolates and milk chocolates. So if you're a big fan of those two, then go. They didn't really have any white chocolate um, to, to sample because it was obviously more the background on how chocolate's produced. Um, but yeah, no, we had a lot of fun and then just kind of did a little bit of shopping, picked up a few little bits of pieces, got some new boots, some new tops. And then, yeah, that was kind of it. So it was a very quick turnover. Um, and yeah, just now back home and hopefully we'll get back down in the summer. Just now I'm gonna close off this vlog, get washed and dressed, get my face all washed, hence why I'm wearing this ridiculous band on my head, and then start painting the hallway in prep for his friends coming around tomorrow. And then, yeah, just see how the rest of the day is, just a bit of tidying up and getting things sorted. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this vlog, and remember to give it a big thumbs up and comment if you've enjoyed our little time in Edinburgh. I will try and get another vlog up as soon as I can. But yeah, enjoy this and hope to see you guys soon. Have a nice day, whatever you guys are up to as well.